The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Oh, this is going to be a good story. I love words. Can't wait to see what he does with his words. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Looks like he's writing willow down. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Ooh, emerald. Short and sweet words. Ooh, I see a word on this page that's almost like my name, but without the S on the end. Two-syllable treats. Ooh, glimmer. That's a good one. Ooh, whisper. That has a lot of our secrets in it. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Kaleidoscope guacamole, geometry, symphony. Oh, those do sound like little songs. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, effervescent, vociferous. Those are some great words to say. You should practice saying those words. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, torrential, bellow, smudge, molasses. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. That's a good word. Big words next to little words. Sad words next to dreamy words. Look at all those words. Infantismal. Harmony. Orchestra. Oh, I know Mrs. J would love that word. Flock. Dream. Turmeric. Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. Ooh, look at this one. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Savor, dreams, cascading stars. Ooh, these are sounding very good together. I see what Jerome means. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved. They delighted. What a great idea. I'm sure some of you guys could do that too, stringing some words together to make poems. We've actually done that with our animal poems. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. Let's look at these words. Molecule, ooh, waterfall, that's a compound word. Bungalow, bohemian, gaggle. These are some great words. Ooh, look, onomatopoeia. Look up what that word means. It's really fun. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. I wonder what he's doing. He looks very determined, though. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. Hmm, I wonder why he's doing that. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. 
Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. That is by the author Peter Hamilton Reynolds and the illustrator as well. I hope you enjoyed our story of the word collector. There were so many words in there that you might not know the meaning of. So maybe you can go and look up some of those words to see what they were, especially effervescent. I think Dr. Ireland was that word for our Halloween, for our word parade. And just those great words, gaggle, onomatopoeia. Maybe you can start your own word journal and be a word collector as well. I hope you have a good night, you have sweet dreams, and you will see me in the morning.